Good day. Today I'm here as a public service to warn people about the shoddy workmanship that you can expect from canvaschamp.ca, probably all the canvas champs in all the countries where they operate. Uh, I had previously come to expect about a one in four failure rate for canvases. And I thought that was kind of a, an acceptable risk. Uh, until this last order, they are 0 for 12. 0 for 12. There's not a single one that's any good. And I'm going to start with this one. Because this exemplifies the problem with all of them. One of the problems that applies to all of them. And this one that we're looking at here is a picture I had printed before and I'm happy with it. It's okay. Uh, the clear coat is a little bit sort of spotty but overall it's a good print. The colors are true. Now in this most recent order everything was printed in a higher key like it had been tinted with white. And here's I had two more of this picture printed that, believe it or not, was the exact identical file I sent them. And you can see the difference in how they were printed. And it's not that bad with this one, but in a few others, it really ruins the picture. But that's not all that's wrong here. I don't know if you can see right here. See that bump? They apparently have a very dirty workspace because there are bumps under the canvas in a lot of them. Um, another problem is the corners. They do a very poor job of wrapping them and they get transferred from FedEx facility to FedEx facility about uh, eight times and the corners get wrecked. Now here's a second print of the same one. You can see there there's a common common feature. The clear coat has lumps in it, so there's these hard boogers on the canvas. And again, I think owing to their dirty work surfaces, scratch, scratch. They're very rough with them in the factory. And, you know, here's a munched corner another munched corner. They're very rough with them in the factory and owing to the dirty work surface they get pieces of foreign matter under the canvas and or scratching the canvas. Now here's one. It should have been darker. It's overall this is one of the better ones. This is as close to a, a good one as they've come. You probably can't tell for sure from the video but it's not square. It's totally out of square. There's an acute angle here. This distance is longer than this distance. But again, I had a friend that wanted this one that I printed it for, and there's a munched corner. You know, the, co the pigment is rubbed off of the corner. And it's just not acceptable. This one here, same thing. This should have been a much darker print than it is. It's still a lovely print in a sense. Other than the fact there's a big scratch here. Probably if we look at it, sure enough, there's paint rubbed off of the corner. You know, this one is one of the nicer ones. There's some kind of an inclusion or something going on here. There's a bump in the canvas. Another one, lovely picture. It actually looks okay in my viewfinder right now, but it is printed way too late. Big scratch there. That's no good. Check out that big, that big booger of clear coat right there. Totally unacceptable. Unacceptable. Pride doesn't come into it for these people. Way too late, as like the rest of them are. 
Um, otherwise, this is one of the better ones too. There's a munched corner on there. Still unacceptable. I oh yeah, there's a big scratch there. Couldn't sell that if I wanted to. They aren't worth the price of shipping, which was zero. My turtle here. I know what was wrong with this one. Oh yes. It was a shipping thing. There's a big corner. Corner impression there. It could have been shipping. It could have been from the factory. Some corner munching. And I know these scratches happened at the factory. Some of the damage was shipping, but I know the scratches happened at the factory because there's uh, they were individually wrapped and the scratches are under the wrapping. Now my nice, nice dark, rich blacks, again, turned into this faded blue, which is awful. Big scratch, that's no good. Paint pigment rubbed off of the corner here. And otherwise, yeah, more pigment rubbed off on the corners. It's, um, it's not what I sent them. It's not what I expect when I give them my money. It wasn't chump change to print these. Again, this one. Actually, it kind of took on a weird greenish tint also. Aside from, you know... Big scratch here. But I don't know. There's a munched corner there. Like, I don't know who calibrates their printer. It's not properly calibrated. There's a big clear coat booger. Lots of those. What are we so far? 0 for 9, it looks like so far. This was one of the, their almost successes, except in the nice light blue sky here, there's these black inclusions, you can feel them. It's almost like somebody was grinding metal nearby and got uh, sparks on the canvas. There's some pigment falling off. There's another clear coat booger. Now we get to these ones. I have two of this, and the printing isn't that bad on them. But owing to their poor packing, this must be, you know, there's a munched corner there. And the worst of it is, is that FedEx has pushed some corner of some other package right through it leaving this three-cornered pucker on the good side and this one having been packed back to back has the same problem three-corner pucker coming out instead of in because that's the same corner and uh, oh yeah if you've got a stretcher bar that's too short what do you do you don't cut it down and shorter and use it on a smaller canvas oh hell no you put a quarter inch piece of crap in there to bridge the span and uh, you know for all of this crap here's the good one Handmade with love. I don't know if that's intentionally sarcastic, but love has nothing to do with this crap. So remember folks, if you're thinking Canvas Champ, think somewhere else. <laughs>